Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We finally, after 4 hours and 10 minutes of game time, have left Twilight Town. We're now in the Gummy Ship. So this is the Gummy Ship Overworld. It's a little bit different than it was in Kingdom Hearts 1. As you can see, we can actually just flat out move around to our heart's pleasure, except we get knocked away from certain things like this. This is a new world that we can't visit yet. We can also hold circle to dash around. There's only one new world we can go to, and that's Hollow Bastion! Yeah, you know, <laughs> the really tough world from the first game. Yeah, that's like the first main world in this one. It's gonna be great, and we also don't even have to do a gummy ship mission or anything. We can just land right here. Do we want to land in Hollow Bastion? Yes, we do. What are you up to, Pete? Maleficent! Maleficent! Maybe they really did finish her off. But then she came back because reasons. This castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. Oh, now what's gonna happen to our plan? What? A raven? So here's something cool. We get to explore the actual town of Hollow Bastion, not just the castle. It's actually a pretty different world. That castle's seen better days. It's Hollow Bastion. Gorsh, it looks kinda different now. Oh, you are in the dead going, okay? Uh-oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. Welcome to Hollow Bastion. Thankfully easier than it is in Kingdom Hearts 1, but it still can be tricky, a tricky world. Although, this is one we, a world that we come back to multiple times, and the first visit's pretty easy, all things considered. And here's something new, yeah! Final mix only! Actually, we talked about that last time. Yeah, there are these puzzle pieces that are lying around. We can pick them up! Although, a lot of them we can't get just yet. This is the main town. We got the stores around here. Here we go, and here we go, selling stuff! Uh, no thanks. Don't want the ability rain. Let's see, we ha already have an Elven Bandana and a Shadow Anklet. We don't need anything else. Goofy can go without armor. And I think we already have one of the... Oh, I don't have the Hammer Staff yet. Eh, we'll buy the Hammer Staff. Gives him one extra strength. It's pretty bad, but I mean... Eh. It's shattered! Don't think we have any new abilities. Nope. Still got potions. Excellent, we don't have to buy those. This whole place is pretty awesome. Talk to Moogles and Towns. They can synthesize items with various materials. Collect the materials used for item synthesis to create various items. So yeah, the item workshop is back from the first game. And unlike in the first game, you don't have to wait till you're like halfway done with the game to hope unlock it. No, you get that basically right from the start. So if we go to synthesize, we hand over all the synthesis materials, and we obtain an elixir for completing the collection. So we handed over five mithril shards and then one mithril stone. Yeah, we found those in the treasure chests lying around Twilight Town and the Mysterious Tower. So because we got some of those, we got an elixir as a reward. So this we can see a list of uh, various items that we've gotten, as well as a list of objectives that we've completed. So we got one type of material, and the reward was an elixir. So. Synthesis materials, materials are a lot more common in this than they are in Kingdom Hearts 1, which is very nice. It's a bit less grindy in that regard. Yep, this is a list of uh, materials we gave to the Moogle. This is just an overall materials list. And then this is what you really want, recipes. This is what we can make. We don't have any recipes yet. However, the Moogle will hold on to our synthesis materials for us, and we can use them later in the future. And then you're selling potions, ethers, and tents. Ethers? 
are very, very useful. However, we're also flat broke right now, so we can't really use them. And we don't have magic anyway, so they're not good unless you get magic. It's Scrooge! My favorite duck and duck bird. Actually, one of my favorite Disney characters. I'm a Scrooge! Er, uh, who? He's Donald's uncle, a business typhoon. Before the Harleys showed up, he traveled the worlds on a gunship with the cane. He was helping to set up a traffic system. A transit system! What's all the racket? Why, if it isn't Donald and Goofy, hello lads. I and y'all look hale and hearty. So do you, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, if only I were. I see, I, will, I cannot seem to recreate my favorite old time ice cream. If I, I'd make millions if I just got it right. Terrible. What, is that like poisonous boysenberry flavor? Yeah, we can't grab that puzzle piece just yet. Leon and the others are in the burrow. They went to Merlin's house. Merlin lives here now too? This shop is actually a giant refrigerator. It needs to be a giant freezer if he's making ice cream. This looks like it could be it makes some good ice cream. That's just ice cubes. Anyhow, that's enough of the main town. Let's head over here. Mechanism. It's Yuffie! Yuffie! Look out! And we gotta fight some dusks. Alright. So that led the little lasers that are popping around, if they, uh, they'll basically home in on enemies, they'll basically appear where there are enemies. And it don't damage them and knock them around, so that'll help you out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to show off what Valor Form is. So you've got our command menu, we go down to Drive, and go into Valor Form! So what we do is it makes a huge explosion, all the enemies nearby us damage whenever we change to a new Drive Form, and we're now red and dual-wielding Keyblades. Goofy is no longer in our party because we consume his power in order to use Valor Form, but Donald is still here. And now we just can go around and beat up enemies like crazy. We're faster, we jump higher, dual wielding keyboards is awesome, but we can no longer guard, which means we can actually take damage fairly easily. But boy is it awesome. Hey you guys! And now we got red clothes still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Well what did you expect? I want the others. Great! Hey, Yuffie, have you seen the king and Riku? Nope. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. <laughs> What's with all of her zippers? We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> They're basically acknowledging, yeah, that was a cheesy line, we get it. But when Sora is making fun of how cheesy a line is, you know you're done. Goofed up! <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Seriously. Come on! Fun drinking game. Take a drink every time you see a new zipper on the costume. I don't recommend this. And we get the Marketplace map! Maps are not that great, honestly. We got soldiers! <laughs> Good thing we got Valor for. So yeah, you can see our form gauge, which is our drive meter, is slowly going down as we're in Valor form. You can level up Valor form, and you level up Valor form just by hitting enemies while you're in it. I can't remember how much of this I actually went over in last video, because it has been months since I have recorded this. I had to finish up recording Chibi Robo. And yeah, we're all out of drive now, and Goofy's back in our party, and we're no longer in Valor form. And we have a high potion in that chest. So for example, if we go to status and Valor, we have 46 experience points from Valor form because we hit enemies 46 times during that uh, section of using Valor form. Once we uh, hit 34 more enemies in Valor form, we will get a level up, which means we will get another form gauge. The form gauge free is going to go up to four. That doesn't mean it takes four drive uh, gauges in order to enter Valor form. It just means you use free gauges to enter Valor form, then you have four drive gauges while in Valor form. 
So that's actually nice. It just lets you stay in Valor form for longer, and we'll start unlocking a bit. You unlock a new ability every time you level up. And you also might get more strength, magic, and defense. I don't. I don't really know. Anyhow, Donald, Goofy, yeah, all you, all you guys are good. Cool. I don't want to be redundant, but I'd rather cover information more than once than not cover it at all. This Meet game's the very Hollow technical. Bastion Restoration Committee. We missed you. Well, if you ain't in top shape, I knew it. Leon smiling. A while back, everyone suddenly remembered you guys all at the same time. You remembered? Wait, does that mean you forgot about us? Sora, did you not play Chain of Memories? You forgot everyone and everything. <laughs> Donald has the best face. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you forgot us. I'll start doing something really smells bad. Ouch. <laughs> so where have you guys been all this time? We don't really remember <laughs> because they uh, they retconned everything after Chain of Memories, but not really. We just forgot about it. We were sleeping. Where? In cold storage? Yep. It doesn't matter. This is great. Everyone's together again. Okay, I'm sorry, but the new voice actress for Aerith is just not good. Sorry, lady. I'm sure you're very a lo very lovely person, but it, it doesn't so, sound um, good. We're trying to find Riku and the King. Have you seen him? Right. Sorry, but let us know if there's anything we can do to help, okay? Like, it's not a bad voice. Like, I actually think the voice is kind of soothing. It just doesn't fit Aerith. And she's not delivering the lines of any emotion at all. It's more like just ASMR. Okay, thanks. Don't go thinking it's just yet. <laughs> Sid, that, that was a little weird. <laughs> he just lurched at Sora. Don't go thinking it's just yet. It's a, Sora looks a little perturbed. Hollow Bastion's got a problem. A big problem. You mean like nobody's? <laughs> Sid, can you get out of my That's face? That's right. <laughs> Sounds like you could use our help. Then let's cut to the chase. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we were hoping the three of you might give us a hand around here. Like we're gonna say no? Hmm. I forgot who I'm dealing with. It's weird seeing Leon smile. Oh, what do you mean by that? Just think of it as a sort of Leon compliment. And also, he's like, well, yeah, he could easily be a head taller than Aerith. I'm a head taller than a lot of girls. Follow me to the Bailey. There's something you need to see. Oh, it's no, I thought it was you. Right on time. It's Merlin! Can I just say, I don't like Merlin. Like, Merlin, not, not Disney Merlin, just regular Merlin from The Legend, is awesome. Disney's Merlin? Not a fan. Not a fan of him in the movie, not a fan of him in this. Sora and the gang said they're gonna help out. Splendid. We'll count on you. Right. 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 Yeah. Ah, yes. Did you give them the cards, dear? That was the last game. Oh. <laughs> You're going to need these. They're presents for you. Leon thought you might like to have them. He knew we were coming, so he had them made. Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. Yeah! That was your plan. <laughs> That'll get you into Epcot. Cool, huh? Hey, thanks, Leon. Huh? Oh, no. We're supposed to be at the Bailey. Hey, Bailey. <laughs> Uh, just a moment, Sora. What about your magic? I forgot. Huh? <laughs> if I could use magic, I wouldn't just forget about it. Oh, that's right. Maybe you forgot it while you were asleep. Now what am I going to do with you? I suppose I'll have to lend you a few spells, but be careful with them. Lend us spells? Is this Howl's Moving Castle? Thanks, Merlin. To the Bailey and fast! 
Worst Jabba Jack voice in history. We get the membership card. A membership card of Hollow Bastion Restoration could be a rare honorary membership card. And instead of giving us a few spells, Merlin just gives us one. He gives us the Blizzard Element. There are different elements for different spells. You can get up to three of each of them, and each one you get upgrades the spell a little bit more. So this is the first Blizzard Element, so this gives us access to Bli the Blizzard spell, unleashes icy crystals at the target, used from the Magic Command, and costs 15 MP. Magic Command has been added. Consume MP from the gauge in the bottom right to use magic. Press L1 for the shortcut commands. MP is restored at save points and also after a fixed period of time, even after full consumption. Alright, so... What is MP charge? MP charge. When MP is empty, MP will be recharged until full. With no MP, MP will be recharged until full MP. Setting up MP charge. From customize, select a character to set up. Select a magic spell. Select MP charge. Uh, triangle toggles it on and off. Abilities that consume MP will also trigger MP charge. So we'll go to customize. So Blizzard right now is set to circle. I want Blizzard to be set to triangle. Yeah. So MP charge is Blizzard. And we can also uh, turn it on or off. So this basically means if it's don't MP charge, this means you can't use the magic spell if you don't have enough MP. MP charge means that you can use the magic spell and if you run out of MP, it'll automatically trigger MP recharge. I don't know why you would ever turn this off. I really don't. Maybe there's some hardcore Kingdom Hearts people who can tell me why they would do that. But I don't know why you would. And then, yeah, we got those. Yeah, who cares? Anyhow, we go to shortcuts, we have potions, and now we have Blizzard. So, magic in this game is very different from in Kingdom Hearts 1. Each magic spell is actually functions quite differently. So Blizzard in the first Kingdom Hearts basically was a shotgun spell, which I did a really bad job of explaining in the first one, where it basically shot a bunch of Blizzard crystals in like a shotgun blast, and it could hit a bunch of enemies. In this, you just fire a single chunk of uh, ice, I'll show you right now. So it just shoots a single chunk of ice in a straight line. The difference with this blizzard is that it can hit more than one enemy in that straight line. It'll pass through enemies. So if you got a bunch of enemies all in line, you can fire a blizzard and hit all of them. It's probably the worst magic spell in the whole game, I'll be perfectly honest. It's really not that powerful. It has a few uses that we'll see later on. We'll use it at the beginning just because it's our only magic spell, but as soon as we get better ones, we basically will never use it again. <laughs> well, but there's an awakening puzzle piece here. We can see some strands of Merlin's Volum Beard. This is the closet Merlin always miniaturizes. This machine's used for magical research. Great. Great. If you go up to the right from here and climb the stairs, you'll arrive at the Bailey. They're heartless roaming about, so be prepare yourselves at the marketplace. This is a journal on the worlds Merlin has visited and the future. Well, that is... I wonder if Winnie the Pooh's there. You just need to be a wizard to make the best use of this normal bag. Oh, is that all? We all went to the Bailey. Don't make him wait too long, okay? Whoa, can I, can I, actually, I can actually push them around. That's great. Hmm, it seems your clothes are designed to gather energy when you use up your magic. In that case, don't hold back then, since your magic will recover with time. I really like how the MP recovers with time. It's so nice. Because <laughs> basically when you ran out of MP in the first game, it's like, better use an Aether or find a safe point. And that's basically it. This computer's been modified for Sid's personal use. Blackboard used for strategy meetings. Have you seen the town's defense devices? They're called Claymores. They're not as powerful as you, but depending on how you use them, they can really help. They're, they're not, like, game-breaking, but they just they help out a little bit. Blueprints for the defense device, an illustration of the town's power grid. Cool. So, demonstrating MP recharge, uh, Merlin. Also, one thing I should, also, I should also mention, another way magic is different in this game, is that in the first game, magic was just you fire the magic spell, that's it. It's one and done. In this magic, you can combo, much like with your physical hits. So... Like, physical hits, you can do, like, one, two, then finisher when you're in battle. Same with magic. So, if you'll notice, so, I'm gonna fire free magic spells. Pay attention to the first two versus the third. You see how I'm a third one, so I said threes, and then it took a little longer, and the ice crystal was a bit bigger? That was a magic finisher. And you can potentially interchange your physical hits with your magic hits. So, you can do, like, a physical hit plus a magical hit plus a combo finisher, which is a physical hit. It's, it's complicated, but it's really not. You, you'll get used to it as it goes on, but magic finishers tend to be a little bit more powerful. Anyhow, 
If we use the mag last magic spell, you'll saw that on the shortcut menu, Blizzard was uh, in orange letters. That means that if I fired it, it would enter MP Recharge. And as you can see, I can't use MP now, but it's purple and slowly refilling. Once I wait enough time, it'll refill and I'll have full MP again. Or you can step on the save point and it'll recharge really fast. And yeah, that's it. That has been your very long-winded explanation of how the magic system in this game works, which I think I explained already in a previous episode. Sorry, folks. Yeah. Ooh, Dark Shard. That's nice. Yeah, yeah honestly, pff, Blizzard we're probably only going to use like five times in the game, maybe. There are a couple of times where it's really, really nice, but for the most part it's just like physical hits are better. <laughs> yeah, the defense system was just messing with this soldier over there. It, it helped out. It prevented him from attacking. There's lots of treasure to explore. AP boost. This crane is being used to rebuild the town. This keeps the food hot. This keeps the food cold. I don't know what this is. Oh, look! Food! Got some puzzle pieces we can collect. And by that I mean one. Yeah. <laughs> Sora's like, oh, slippery. Is it really, Sora? Really? <laughs> really, Sam? Yeah. Never fails. Get near a treasure chest and harvest. And hey, we gotta level up! We get more Oh, we get. A uh, higher magic stat and more MP. I'm like, did we get more MP? No. You barely get any more MP in this. And honestly, like, the less MP you have, the better, usually. And we got a drive recovery. That's a really nice item. We can use it only from the actual, like, item menu here, but it will refill three drive gauges when we use it. Drive is one of the toughest things to refill in the game because it will not fill the max by stepping on the save point. You literally just have to fit, hit... And do physical attacks on enemies and hope that they drop drive orbs in order to refill it. Or use drive, drive recoveries, but they're kind of rare. Mithril Shard. Alright, off to the Bailey. And this is actually the last part of the first visit to Hollow Bastion. So we're already at the end. Hey, Leon. Brooding, brooding here as usual. Look at that. We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. There's still a lot to do. But I'm sure we can handle everything. Except... for that... <laughs> it's literally just a sea of islands. And the nobody's walking around. They move so weirdly. But I love it. We'll handle them. All of them? Well, that's good to hear. So, Sora, do you know what's going on then? There's this guy, Pete, who's been going around plotting with the Heartless. But he's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. The ones we need to worry about are the nobodies. And those Organization 13 guys in charge, too. You called? Were you eavesdropping, bro? You're doing well. Who's that? This calls for a celebration. Defeat all the nobodies while protecting the gates. So this is the final fight of the first visit. It's the Bailey fight. And this fight's awesome in a few ways. For one, okay, so we don't have our party members. Donald and Goofy are off doing their own thing, but we get to team up with Leon. Which sounds awesome, except Leon is actually a really, really bad party member. Uh, he's got a massive sword, but he's actually really, really weak and can barely damage the enemies, and he also tends to knock enemies away from you. And on top of that, the enemies here, which are nobodies, are all going to target the gate and attack it. And the gates have their own HP bar. If the gates run out of HP, you lose. If you run out of HP, you also lose. And unfortunately, Leon is only a temporary party member. We're only going to get him for this one fight. 
It's cool, but also it can be true. Anyhow. Yeah, so they're attacking the gates. The dusks are pretty weak. You don't have to worry about them a whole lot. I say that now. Anyway. So now they're gone. Now we get these samurai enemies. They're very dangerous. Yeah, they can kill you really easily. And you know what the sad part is, is... If you fail the fight, you have to go through this room again and reopen all the treasure chests and fight all the enemies again. Fun! How the game works is if you die and hit continue, it basically respawns you at the last time you entered a room and had control over your character. This can be annoying because if you have a lot of fights back to back, if you lose on the last fight, you have to do all of the fights over again. Not fun at all. Back at the Bailey. Nice thing is you can skip the sequence and go right back to the battle. Yeah, Leon's got a giant sword that also doubles as a gun. How is he this bad of a party member? And I, I know he's this bad of a party member because there is, there's not actually a randomizer for this game, but like, there was a guy who made a bunch of codes that you can put in the emulator to change the fights to basically make it a faux randomizer. And he randomized Leon into a different party member and the fight was so much easier. All right, so here are these samurai guys. They're very dangerous, like I said. However, you can bait out a reaction command from them that is really, really powerful. I'm gonna try to do that for this guy. Or maybe not. Oh, it appeared for a second. I think you have to be on the ground for it to happen. Alright. So this is where... Oh, boy. This is where Blizzard's gonna help out a bit. Because we got them all in a line because they're all attacking the door, so we can actually hit, like, all of them at once. The other problem with this fight is that the enemies don't drop HP orbs. Nobody's do not drop HP orbs when you kill them. They drop 10 HP orbs. Leon, have you done anything? Oh, combo boost, that's a really good ability. Full drive case again, but we can't use Valor enough in this fight. Okay, and we get the fire element, which gives us access to fire, which is a much, much better spell than Blizzard is. A truly marvelous weapon. Were it only in more capable hands. <laughs> Show yourselves! There's more of them. Organization 13! Now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen up. I want us all to appear on this wall. I'm going to say a few lines, and I want you all to laugh after them. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> it's like Jabba's palace, where like Jabba's like, all right, everyone hide behind this curtain, wait for my call, and then on my call, everyone start laughing. <laughs> it's like, that's weird. <laughs> These teleport powers. That's the big idea. Oopsie daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. Then we are gonna make you move. See, that would work if I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh, dear. I think you got the wrong impression. <laughs> Surfer dude. I think you're not really appreciating that I'm riding the waves, bro. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! 
He used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Were you told to do that, or is that an improvisation on your own part, dude? This yeah, seems very weird. Got away. Nuts. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. <laughs> oh, Sora, how wrong you are. <laughs> That line gets funnier in each Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> the Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. Oh. Yes. Wow! Huh? Man, these parts are really What's weird this? in this. Gorge, you think? So this is how the new keyhole system works. Instead of it being in a specific spot, you basically need a specific item in a specific spot. <laughs> and appara apparently... Sora's honorary key card, the key, not even key card, literally, or maybe it is a key card, literally just like, membership card, is like, oh, this reveals a keyhole. Maybe it's supposed to be symbolic more than anything, but I don't know. It at least look, looks really cool. Keyholes also function a bit differently in this. Oh. Now I get it. That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Yeah, every time you... Maybe it was supposed to work like this in the first game. In this, every time you see a keyhole, basically you get access to a new world to visit. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful. <laughs> I saw them. They all stood on a cliff and laughed at you. They look pretty tough. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. See you soon. But truth be told, if I fought them at this level, I would get my butt kicked. And we get Secret Ansem Report 7. <laughs> you know, Ansem had the reports, but now these are the Secret Ansem Reports. Oh yeah, we already went over this. We already got Secret Ansem Report 4, I think. Ooh, Final Mix exclusive cutscene here. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He is nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be. Or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. It, now go. It will be one that he'll remember. Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best Kingdom Hearts game, in my opinion. Yeah, there are cutscenes of plenty in this game, as you probably figured out. But we get two new ways. Hope you didn't want to go back to Twilight Town, because we can't go back now. Use the left stick to fly the gummy ship. You had to have known this last time, otherwise you couldn't have been to the Hollow Bastion. Try approaching the door-shaped gummy route on the screen. When you arrive at your destination, press triangle to land. 
You can't land on worlds not connected by gummy roots. Clear gummy roots to connect the worlds. So these are the gummy ship levels. Asteroid Sweep is the first one, and then we've also got Stardust Sweep down there. Now we've got two new worlds that we can't reach until we open these two gummy roots. The one on the top is a Mulan world, and the one down here is a Beauty and the Beast world, as you can probably tell by the looks of them. We get to choose which one we like, want to go to first, but we'll have to do that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Carl Flaherty. I hope to see you next time. It's going to be fun, fun times. We'll get to explore the gummy ship, and we'll get to explore a whole new world. Literally, both of these are new worlds. We haven't found any repeat worlds in it yet. Well, except all that shit. And, but, never mind. But I'm just going to stop talking. Have a great day, and God bless everybody.